What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today I want to share with you my top five picks for the camping niche. My plan is every single week to do a video like this featuring products from different niches which are about to explode in popularity and give you my top five trending products. Obviously as the weather gets better there's going to be new niches, there's going to be new products that come into trend and explode in popularity so my plan is each and every week to give you my top five picks from each of these niches. In terms of what those niches are then they're pretty much an to do with outdoors so today we've got camping but obviously things like the garden niche um, any kind of outdoorsy type things so hiking walking running cycling um, and of course you cannot forget the pet niche one of the biggest niches when it comes to drop shipping so that will be featured and that will be planned for next week as well as long as you guys enjoy this video obviously I do these videos for you guys so if you do enjoy today make sure you hit that like button and I can do another one next week um, if you don't enjoy this video then I suppose don't hit that like Burn. but either way let's see how today goes and if it proves popular I will carry on this kind of like mini series that being said then let's jump straight into product number one so top five products in the camping niche for 2023 um, product number one nothing too special however what I really like about this product is it pretty much in captures any type of person who wants to go on an outdoor adventure. Um, any Whether you're going on a casual camping trip with your family, you will have a requirement for this. Whether you're kind of like the extreme survivalist and you kind of eat what you kill type, um, then you're gonna have a requirement for this as well. So what I'm gonna do in fact is I'll open up the supplier links. Um, and just talk you through exactly what the product is. Basically it's a rechargeable um, kind of unit that doubles up as lots of different things. So if we just play this video, um, the video does a pretty nice job actually of demonstrating all the different features. This is actually a video you could get away with probably using as a Facebook ad as well. So in terms of getting up and running with this product to be super cheap and super easy. So in terms of the different features, then there's six different lighting modes. You can use it as a flashlight, as a torch when you're out and about and kind of focus that light in a direction you want to go to um, or go in, I should say. You can also use it as a lantern as well. So when you're back in the tent, you can light the whole tent up or light the whole area and space up that you're staying in. Um, and it also has a red light as well, which I think is a pretty cool feature because late at night, the last thing you want is a really bright glaring white light um, in your eyes, whereas you can have a softer red light, um, which won't wake you up as much and it's just a bit more comfortable um, during the night. So it works as a lantern, it works as a torch, and it also works as a power bank as well. So when you're out hiking, it's of course waterproof. This sort of thing has to be waterproof, especially if you're gonna be selling to a UK audience, because even in the middle of summer, you can have um, rainy days. So super important that carries that kind of capability but yeah just as I was mentioning it also doubles up as a power bank too so when you're out and about or if you don't have readily available access to electricity then you have means of charging your phone which is of course um, super super important especially if you're going on a big day trip um, into the wilderness or wherever it may be back to the dock then I'll just open up the Google Trends link um, but before we get into that um, if you guys want a copy of this Google Doc so I can share it it'll be 100% free that way you have access to all the different suppliers the Google Trends information there is a product description as well for every single product um, so you can just copy and paste that into your Shopify store if you want to give any of these products a go um, if you want to get your hands on this then let's say if we can get this video to um, let's go for 23 likes seeing as it's 2023 if we can get 23 likes on this video um, I'll post the link um, in the pinned comment at the top of this video so everybody can get a copy of this so back to Google Trends this is UK being based in the UK I'm always gonna have a bias here I'm um, 2040 present for camping light um, we can see there's clear spikes in popularity we are in one of those spikes at the moment, meaning that people are currently looking for a product like this meaning it's a great time to sell a product like this. Down into the product description then, I'm not gonna bore you guys by reading through the whole thing, it's quite extensive. I'm gonna be completely upfront and honest, I did not write these product descriptions myself. These are the result of a chat GPT um, result. It's just such a brilliant tool, it saves so much time. If you're not, I know people bang on about it, even today, daily, especially if you're on Twitter, every other post is about it. However, it is a brilliant tool. Definitely, definitely, definitely get to grips with it. Um, it helps you knock out really good um, product descriptions in a matter of seconds. So introducing the ultimate companion for outdoor adventures. If you're anything like me and you struggle to write creative descriptions without simply being really factual, not really emotional type person, so I really struggle with this sort of stuff, and then ChatGPT, trust me, will become your best friend. So um, feel free to pause the video. 
um, or like I said make sure you hit that like button and once we get to 25 likes um, I'll post a link for everybody to have so the profit margins then on this product um, the cost is 13 14 delivered which I think is pretty reasonable given the different features and functions um, of this product you can pay more than that just simply for a power bank never mind something that doubles up as a torch a lantern white light and red light I think a recommended retail price is $40 I think that's pretty conservative as well I would start there to try and suck people in see how you go um, and then try and get away with charging a bit more because like I said it's like three different products in one even at this lower price you're still looking at a pretty healthy profit margin in my opinion um, of nearly $27 to $26.85 my Facebook and store strategy then for this would be a campaign related um, in terms of the interests I'll go for campaign related the interests are going to be the same pretty much for all of these products um, so I'm just going to kind of um, go over those pretty quick but camping related make sure you go for magazines anything related to survival and outdoorsy type things um, in terms of how I advertise this I would start with that supplier video that we saw um, I think it you could chop that up put different music over it put subtitles and just go for a cheap and cheerful approach just to kind of test the waters um, and once you've kind of validated it um, then move on to user generated content original user generated content I think there's enough information and features as well and enough content you can create about this product to warrant creating a one product store um, and then I think it's going to be more of like the hardcore type outdoorsy type people um, so I would probably stick with US and Canada they tend to be more outdoorsy but if you really wanted to kind of test everything so you didn't leave any kind of stone unturned and um, you could definitely include Australia and UK into that as well moving on to product number two then this is a really cool product um, I actually have something similar to this I used to sell something similar to this a different style um, to this one um, however it worked really well I used it for cycling uh, let's see if I can just open up this supplier link I use it for cycling however when you're going out and about camping um, doing outdoor adventures you obviously have beds um, and things like that um, to pump up as well as it may be your car tire if you get flat when you're out in the middle of the wilderness um, so there's lots of different applications for a product like this making it a great choice for the camping niche basically what it is then is it's a rechargeable portable wireless mini air pump as it says right there so you can take it with you as you can see it's not very big you can have it in your back pocket you can have it in a bag and whenever you need to blow up that air bed instead of doing it manually also would work great for holidays obviously if you've got a big family taking kids to the beach blowing up lilos um, that sort of thing armbands rather than having to do it manually then a product like this just makes it so much easier doing a matter of seconds and I believe it goes up to 150 psi if that's correct that's absolutely um, amazing that's like very very high pressure so all in all a very very good product with many different applications um, certainly which include the camping niche as for trends info then let's open this up and take a look so camping pump again UK 2004 to present we can see we're currently on a breakout massive 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 spike in popularity in terms of searches people looking for this sort of product making it ideal to get started with today as for product descriptions introducing a rechargeable portable wireless pump the ultimate companion for campers seeking convenience and efficiency designed with your outdoor inventors in mind this innovative pump provides hassle-free inflation and deflation for your camping essentials making your camping experience easier than ever before gone other days thanks to its rechargeable battery the pump features worried about compatibility blah 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 and um, so on and so forth let's talk numbers then moving into the profit so 1489 delivered and um, which I think is again is very reasonable for a quality product with so many different applications I would go for $50 I'll definitely be pitching this as kind of like a premium product rather than a cheap thing um, the biggest hesitation I would guess from consumers mind would be whether it actually works so I think by actually charging a premium price you're probably more likely to convince them and actually win the consumer that way this would leave a very good profit margin of $35.10 my Facebook and store strategy then same interests I think start with a UGC video ad um, rather go for existing pre-existing content go for someone who's comfortable on camera who's going to unbox it who's going to show it blowing up a tire versus having to do it manually just a way of just kind of demonstrating how much easier it is to have this on you rather than have one of your manual pumps um, and like I said somebody talking on camera and actually doing it live is definitely going to be a lot better than having a cheap and cheerful kind of viral e-com ads type style video which is just recycled content go for a one product store like I said it's a premium product one product store will help with the branding um, and you can pretty much sell this anywhere I would say US Canada UK and Australia on to product number three then hope you guys are enjoying the video so far and got you excited about some of these products um, this is one of my favorite products I am going on a camping trip myself in June um, at the end of June I've actually bought one of these myself and it is a brilliant product um, basically what it is well it is a single camping bed however let's take a look at the supply link um, 
just to point out some of my favorite different functions and features of it. Um, it's made out of like surprisingly pretty thick material. So it's like not anti-puncture, but as it says there, like scratch resistance. Um, to puncture this, you would have to probably like do it on purpose almost or drop a knife from some height to actually go through the material. The reason why I bought it and I like it so much is because we're not going to have a lot of space. Um, and where does it say? So here it actually folds up really small and only weighs 550 grams. And it actually has a built in pump uh, where it demonstrates it better. This so you can just lie it down and use your foot to pump it up. And honestly, it takes like 20 to 30 seconds and then you're up and going. And it's actually it's like surprisingly comfortable as well for such a cheap product. So all in all, it's brilliant. And I think with those two unique features, the fact that it's got that I can't remember what they call it now that diamond lattice design makes it really comfortable makes it quick to blow up it has an integrated pillow so it's not separate and it also has that built-in pump as well um, which makes it an ideal product for anybody who again might be camping um, out in the wild with no access to electricity this video ad does not do it justice by the way so google trends info camping bed uk 2004 to present nothing new there and again as we can see we're about halfway through the spike in popularity making now a great time if you want to capitalize it on for the next couple of months um, definitely consider doing so introducing the ultimate camping bed design to revolutionize your outdoor sleep and experience the camping bed with built-in pump this innovative sleeping solution combines superior comfort convenience durability so on and so forth say goodbye to the hassle of manual inflation designed with the most comfort in mind when it comes to durability and protection additionally the bed is puncture resistant portability is a key feature so on and so forth does a really nice job of pointing out different features of the product as for number zen so cost 1787 delivered a recommended retail price would be 50 dollars. again i think that's really reasonable decent camping beds are around this sort of number maybe even a bit more expensive more sort of towards 60 70 dollars so i think that's a good starting point um even at that point you're looking at over 30 dollars of room um, for your um, CPA costs, whatever platform you end up using. Uh, Facebook and store strategy then, same interests. Um, you could even include some famous faces on this one or even all of them. Um, go for the supplier video ad if you can find some better content than what these guys have had. Um, I did do a little bit of look, looking around of different suppliers selling this product. There are quite a few, so there's lots of content out there. You can do that again just to kind of validate that the idea works before investing in some UGC content. Going for a branded camping store, so you have a few other products um, on your store is probably the way to go with this. Um, in terms of country, again, I think Think there's a requirement for this sort of products everywhere um, in the world pretty much so you could just start with the big four of UK US Canada and Australia see how you go see which one picks up the most traction um, and then re-optimize your store and focus in that one direction moving on to product number four then are socks however there are this does have a bit of a uniqueness a USP to it so let's open up the supply and I can show you um, a lot of people that watch this channel, they some people I should say actually prefer the cheaper products that they can just scale to the moon and then kind of pump and dump and then forget about. So what's really cool about these products is they're actually waterproof. So if any outdoorsy type person who's gonna be wading through streams um, or wet grass, whatever it may be, and they don't wanna get their feet wet, let me see if I can zoom this on. Then you can see the actual inside of them is dry, which is, I think is pretty cool to be honest. There's loads of applications for this as well, like golf. No matter how much money you spend on golf shoes, they can be really expensive golf shoes, but at the end of the day, if you're playing in wet weather, your feet are always wet at the end of it. However, socks like this are obviously um, a combatant or a way of solving that issue. So again, there's lots of different applications for this hiking, camping, um, as it says in the description as well, skiing, all those sorts of things. As for Google Trends for this item, you can see it actually spikes as we come into the winter months towards the end of summer. So this might not be the perfect time to sell this product, although it depends on how you spin it and how you angle it with your marketing it's a case that not many people are necessarily looking for it right now but if you pitch them as a camping sock then I think that's the way in which you're going to make this product successful product description then introducing the ultimate gear for campers and outdoor enthusiasts the waterproof socks designed to keep your feet dry and comfortable in the harshest of conditions these socks are essential addition to your camping gear arsenal rain or shine wet terrain or stream crossings crafted from high quality materials not only do these socks keep 
keep moisture out. The waterproof socks are ergonomically designed, versatile and adaptable, lightweight and compact. Embrace the freedom of dry and comfortable feet, um, so on and so forth. As a profit margin is then $8.17 delivered. They are a cheap products, as I've already mentioned. $20 RRP with a profit of $11.82. You probably want to bundle these with some other type of products or maybe offer two or three pairs, which is probably the most likely scenario because when you go camping, you're not going to constantly keep wearing the same pair of socks each day. So someone might end up buying, say, three or four pairs of these things per person that actually goes camping. So you never know. You may end up getting quite large orders of five, maybe even half a dozen pairs. Moving down into the strategy then. So obviously, same interest supply. I'll go for the supplier video ad. Um, I think this this one does a fairly decent job of showing how dry they are on the inside after wading through that stream again just to validate the idea the idea <laughs> um, because they are a cheap product you don't want to invest too much into them to find out that you can't make it profitable stick them on a branded camping store I don't think you need to have a one product store of this and again same four big four countries apply UK US Canada and Australia moving on to product number five then I think this is a product that is perfect for this time of year this is when people start going on road trips people start going and camping people start getting their roof boxes on top of their cars so if you haven't guessed it already then what this is is it's a foldable car roof step so let's play the video so it's just this little device that hooks on to your latch of your car door and it allows really easy access to the roof. So you could even pitch as a tool that you can use for people who like washing their cars and aren't tall enough to reach um, the roof of whatever car that may be. Can we stand 150 kilos? So obviously that's gonna accommodate for most people. Um, and then to my knowledge, every single car out there has a latch. Um, like this for it to fit on it also has the rubber mountings on the end to avoid any kind of scratches and that sort of thing genuine use case for it and a relatively cheap product as well as for google trends then when you put in roof rack step not enough people know though these things exist out there so not enough people search for them however if you put roof rack in you can see more and more people are looking for roof racks. There's clearly um, spikes throughout the year when people are interested in roof racks. Um, and this is obviously the perfect product to accommodate one. So introducing the roof rack step, the ingenious accessory designed to make loading and unloading your rooftop gear a breeze. This innovative step attaches securely to your car door latch, providing a sturdy and convenient platform for accessing your roof rack. With ease, no more struggling, um, quick and straightforward installation designed with safety in mind versatile accessory lots of different keywords and key points there moving on to profit margins then so 224 um, on my recommended retail price would be $20 again a fairly cheap product but like I said I want to try and accommodate for everybody who watches this channel some people prefer those cheaper products which would leave a profit margin of $17.75 again I would stick it on a branded camping store try and have some upsells just to bump up that average order value um, and help with those profit margins as much as possible this isn't a brand new product um, it's been around for quite some time so there's plenty of content out there being a cheap product again you don't want to make the same mistake of investing too much into this until you validated that it works so go with some recycled supply video ad content just to begin with and in terms of the countries everybody uses roof racks or roof boxes um, so again uk us canada and australia will do you well and with that being said then guys that wraps up this week's video for top five products in the camping niche. If you guys enjoyed the video and you wanna get a copy of this Google document, don't forget to hit that like button. If you wanna tune in next week for the top five products in the garden niche, in the pet niche, I should say, correct myself, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Any comments, any way I can help you at all, by the way, with your business, anything you're stuck with, put a comment down below in the comments section. Um, I read every single one, so I will read it and I will get back to you and give you my best answer. And with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video on Friday. Cheers.